but then we hit that stretch there, you know, in the third, um, you know, where we couldn't, we couldn't score. And, and I thought we had some, some decent looks there in the paint on it too. And just those, those shots didn't fall. And that was the time to try to, you know, to try to break through there. But, um, you know, the pace wasn't, wasn't there as it, as it normally is, nor was our, uh, you know, pace like in, in, in transition on the offensive end. You're least. Hey, there was a interaction between Goga Batadze and assistant coach Greg Foster during this game at one point. Can you detail kind of what led to that and what was going on on the bench during that break? Yeah, you know, we're, we're in a we're in a frustrating stretch here. You know, a, a lot going on with the with the challenges and you know of of the of navigating through a season. You know, the competitive juices are flowing. Um, you know, and and, and things like that will happen. Other questions, please. Uh, Brendan Murphy, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Coach. I was just wondering, uh, why was Marvin Bagley so effective tonight? Well, he got it. I mean, he just he got to his spots early. You know, I was 23, 24 in that first half. You know, we didn't uh, start getting more physical with him there in the second half. I pr probably should have went to the 2-3 to the zone much sooner than I did as well. Um, but it was just the, the physicality of him around the rim, and he got to the spots where he wanted to get to. We got to do a better job of not allowing that, not allowing him to play so free. You noted that you're at a frustrating point. You've got a game tomorrow night. What's the key to regrouping with such a quick turnaround? Yeah, you're right. It's it's the it's the regrouping and and coming together. There's there's you know these games come at you so quick. Um, you got to turn your focus to the to the next one. Keep sticking together and keep fighting for each other. And you know it's 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 like you said. There's there's been some frustrating moments, but through a season, things like that happen. And I'm going to do everything in my power uh, to keep uh, you know to keep uh, the guys together and keep coaching and work as hard as I can on it and and get them ready for the next one. You know that's my job. Got it. Nate, through the through the injuries, this being shorthanded, just the team hasn't looked like Pacers basketball in mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have you know seven games left. How do you kind mm -hmm. of gel, stay together, through, and navigate this very difficult time? Yeah, that's what that's what I talked about for a little bit of time there in the locker room after the game too. You know, there has been there's been like a you know a number of things, a number of challenges throughout the course of the year that you know can can weigh on you a little bit. Um, but again, you got to stay positive. You got to you got to stick together, um, and 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 that's what I, that's where I have to lead on that. Nathan Madison. Hey, coach. Given that you guys face the Atlanta Hawks tomorrow, how do you limit Clint Capella from having another monster double double game? Given that he had twenty five points and twenty four rebounds in the last matchup. Yeah, physicality number one with it. Um, just so we can't get free runs at the rim, free runs for the, for the, on the glass or free runs on a, on lobs to the rim, you know, that has to be number one in, in preparation, you know, the same thing, you know, one a and, and one B is, is limit any, any easy buckets that he can get in transition because he is a rim runner. He wants to run to that rim and he's a good early sealer. So uh, beating him down the floor, beating him to the spots, and 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 moving him out of that spot early is key. Jay Michael. Hey, Nate, getting back to uh, what happened between Coach Foster and Bataze, uh, not asking you what was – if you said there was any um, – well, get to – did you address that, I guess, with Goga or your coach? Not necessarily I'm asking for the content of maybe what you said – was anything dealt with specifically in regards to that? Because it looked very clearly that after Goga made a three, he said, sit the expletive down, and then that led to the blow up. Is that what you saw and heard? Where are you at in terms of how, you know, what happened there? And exactly did you say anything to them specifically about it? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've talked to both of them about it, you know, absolutely. And, and, and I'm going to talk to them more about it right after this. You know, I'm going to, you know, find out exactly what was said and in what way and, and, uh, um, and, and go from there. But I did, I had, uh, I had in, individual conversations. And again, that they're, they're both, they're both trying so hard. They're both competitive. 
They both want what's best for the team. It just didn't happen that way. And again, with the, the frustration part of it, 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 it boiled over there a little bit. Um, um, and we'll come together. We'll come together right after that thing.